Sam and Max save the world. Continuing our story. The Mole, the Mob, and the Meatball. The Commissioner is looking into an underground operation at Ted E. Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. But the mole he sent in has suddenly gone quiet. To find the mole, Sam and Max must infiltrate the operation and become members of the Toy Mafia themselves. This one I don't have the clearest memory of, so it should be a fun experience. I know there's a card game and I guess a meatball sub. I'm still sick. Still breathing funny, but... I am doing a lot better, so... There will be less breaks to hack up a lung, I assume. And while talking might be a struggle, at least I can do it a lot better than I had been. Hiya, Sam! Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hmm. I got it, I got it! Ow! Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish blobbing a crime beat. We're on our way. What Did is it, the Sam? I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. Mm. What if I just write bigger? Forget <laughs> that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life, but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The sallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue off. The commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? Ooh. No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never, then smack me across the face. Ha. Sounds great! Let's do this! I think in the original, there may have been trophy for asking that question to everybody. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve and the never ace hurts. Of spades. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. Always check the closet. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but Oh, so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Same line from the last one. This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Huh. So I. I checked one of my videos here. And the Sam and Max sound seems decent to me. Hi Sam, this is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages. And give Max a smack from me. Hi Sam, this is yourself again. Don't forget to erase the answering machine messages before you listen to them. And give Max his own battle tank from me. <laughs> okay, I don't see it blinking, so...
We're going to a casino, so it shouldn't be hard to get money. I wonder what Bosco has in store this time. The Alien Love Rectangle Post. Mm. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. <laughs> That's true. What do we have this hmm. time? Are those? Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. How depressing. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack. Son of God, I'm hmm. blue. Who is this, Bosco? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. No. Uh. But you may call me Jean Francois Bandepart, the new way French anarchist. Does the carpet match the drapes? No. And you know why? Because the man does not want him to. He is threatened by their potential unification. <laughs> we want to buy something. We oui, we, oui, Monsieur. And as always, do you have any straight tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. What do you got? Mm. Oh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco tech innovation. A device non pareil chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature list. All device. right. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What to do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, Bosco. We'll take that miniature listening device. As the price is ten million dollars. Ten million? Wait, is that ten million in crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular dollar. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollar. Mm -hmm. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? No. Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? No. Another monkey island. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No. Do you have any... No. How do you know what he was gonna... No. Nothing for us right now. Zip. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Food. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu. I could do this all day, and I intend to. I think that'll come in. See you later, Bosco. I know not. Oh, for Bosco later, right? You speak. But if I see him, we need to start. I shall bid him a reservoir. Delivering things. Some of it comes back to me. What are you doing this week, Sybil? The angles all seem distant this time. It's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great. We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. 
Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? <laughs> Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials <clears throat> is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. Oh, boy. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be a <clears throat> Probably. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. Oh my. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. Okay, that's a little set up. Ready to go driving? Yeah, all of these angles are just pulled out this time. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! <laughs> oh, don't they have a song at some points? Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. <laughs> Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. <laughs> You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. <laughs> okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. <sighs> Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. <laughs> Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival okay. game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Note, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. <laughs> Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, Capish. Now have fun. How can we not?
Okay, aiming's a little difficult. Came up empty. Not That's the okay. worst. It's like mom used to say blowing away rats is its own reward. A wise woman. Let's play again. No. Guidance counselor was <clears throat> right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize. As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, Haven't done anything with, with these before. In their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. Let's play again. I need to get 21. There we go. Looks like they're all out of prices. It's still fun though. Okay, so That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours. Keep mm -hmm. it up and you'll get a shiner too. Ooh. It stays. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Gross. One-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bears. You're on fire. Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction. We won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one armed bandit. Okay. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. Right, right. That's what we need the listening device for. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you mm -hmm. must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, mm. Rabbit, Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. <clears throat> Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Ew. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. <laughs> How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't <laughs> even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? 
You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident. <laughs> Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. Mm -hmm. And you make a bet if you think he got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. <laughs> I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I... You... You cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, Steak Charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. Oh, boy. Okay, now... We get to Bosco. Ten million. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the sacred stench of St. Gainsbourg. These are not American dollars. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the price is a dead bears can be quite useful. Mm. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. <laughs> I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy. You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! Mm -hmm. And that's not all. I've seen them kill larvae. Larvae! Mm -hmm. <gasps> so, yeah, I think I can handle it. Now, I need some shut eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Starting to seem like these episodes could be very, very short back then. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. I can't. 
can't listen to that. Think, boy! That's better. The magnet wouldn't look good there. You're on fire. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs, Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Oh Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also <laughs> somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? Heck yeah. I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, yeah. I mean. The fact mm. that you've already got your own animal I mean. costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Easy. Chuckles, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody, I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. All right. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy <laughs> Mafia. Oh, right. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Okay. 
can't get over there just yet. Can't get in there. Guess I just have to do my jobs. I know what I'm doing. This is one of those things where I couldn't remember it first, but being in the situation, it all just comes back fairly easy. All right, so I'm going to need Sybil's mug. So that's where I use the magnets. Got the toy mafia right there. Trying to deliver something. I am watching you. Okay, so we'll do that first. Hey, Bosco. I think that should get his attention. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? You are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. You will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. <sighs> What if his toy mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. Mm -hmm. If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Ha. <laughs> huh. That's funny. Camera. Oh, the society pages. It must be skull and bones. And as always, it's gotta be the ketchup. Could I get a grande <clears throat> ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? Gross. <clears throat> section so it's true he is toy mafia mm. i hope we don't lose bosco's friendship over this me neither he's my second favorite delusional paranoid Aww. <laughs> oh no oh no I he's coming in we're done for <laughs> i see ringa oh. i see ringa Oh, yeah. Uh, I told you this would happen. I told you he would deliver, and he delivered. I can't believe that guy. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of Mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh, yeah. You're real busy. You've just been loitering around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Don't worry. Easy as anything. Hey, wait a sec. Why didn't b -Taz part do work? <laughs> uh, my camera! Oh, no, mm. no, no! <laughs> Alright, Sybil. 
time to deal with you. Such a weird mixture of likable and unlikable. My goodness, There's thank that. you. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me. <laughs> Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? Good. I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. Mm. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. 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 Mm. Hey, Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good mm. idea, Chum. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up. Which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun oh fact my. to add to the crime fighting arsenal. Hey Sam, are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball yet. sandwich. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. I do believe Where are we going, Sam? That this should be bears, difficult. Mafia free playland and casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. You know what? Thank Home you. Home of the losingest slots in town. Hey, the one armed bandit's one arm is missing. Stolen by a bandit, perhaps? All right, that's the tough part. Well, I haven't been to the office. Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to fence something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread, I'll shoot you both. Just relax, Leonard. Can I get you a refreshing beverage? Maybe a pillow? Move and you're a dead dog. Sam, has that blasted old gambit ever worked? <laughs> All those years of stewardess school don't disappear overnight, Max. Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No. Sick him, little buddy. I thought you'd never sick. Oh. 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 Okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, her? Stay rough! Stay rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. 
Is she the saint of sterno heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Ooh, Neither. I say snap. we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama joke. Oh, no. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Just have to uh, remember. She's so fat. Ooh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can, I can never, never remember, remember the punch, punch lines. lines. That's funny. I remember all the punch lines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, okay. I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmint as a team. Follow my lead. <sighs> Yo mama's so thrifty. a sweater with all her own materials what that doesn't even make sense mm. whoops let's try that again <laughs> yo mama is so punctual she showed up early for her own funeral oh it's true it's working let's keep it up little buddy okay making grown men weep a fun pastime for the whole oh, family, family. Yo mama's so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Yo mama's so perky. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. Oh, Mama, make <laughs> it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah. Yo Mama's so radiant. Oh, okay, that's not different. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. <laughs> stop. Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Okay, I Your know Your mama's so now. thrifty. She brings coupons to the Penny Arcade. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> He never even took the sandwich out of the casino. He hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Hmm. Thanks, jerkbag! How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. Mm -hmm. We best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. Are you gonna See you around, untie me? Sucker. Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? No. Jimmy? Anybody? Mm. It's okay. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ask about our frequent bankruptcy program. Oh my. Now we can get the meatball. Press so, up. A non armed bandit meatball no longer. Sup. Do -do 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 -do.
Success. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomaine, no. Mm. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, <laughs> we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is. <laughs> I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Oh Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. <laughs> Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Neat. My stuff runneth over. Ew. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk through the stupid thing. <laughs> That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getup. Mm. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Mm. Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. <laughs> Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or teddy bears. For all we know, the original teddy bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, mm. good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. 